Monique from Special Occasions by Design. And today we're going to walk through an element of this Bohemian inspired baby shower. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do so. And also hit that notification bell so you can be notified of when I post new content. So I'll walk you through how I created this painted vase. The needed items are cornstarch, and this is just regular cornstarch that you can find in your grocery store for about $2. Then I used a rounded brush and some acrylic paint. I picked up two vases from Dollar Tree, and that's how I got started. Grabbed the plate, added some cornstarch, and squeezed in a generous portion off the paint. I'm having a little bit of difficulty here, so just bear with me. I already painted about two, two of these vases, and it wasn't much paint left. But I'm happy to say, because of this, I can tell you that one bottle, of, one small bottle of this paint from Michaels that cost around $2, I was able to do four of these. All right, now, so I'm still just trying to get some, in, get enough paint out, and you'll be able to tell how much cornstarch to paint mixture you need. I first added some cornstarch, and then I mixed in the paint. While you're mixing in the paint, you are looking for a still paint-like consistency, but somewhat thicker than a paste one thing I will say after I use this mixture here is that my paint or my painted vase actually had quite a few spots on it where it looked like it was cracking if you're not going for this effect I would recommend adding some additional paint to your mix to just have it a bit thinner than my mixture here. So I flipped over the, the paint trying to get some more to come down because as you can see, this consistency that I have is just extremely thick. So I just sped up a little bit here so you can just see as I continue to mix. The more you mix, the more of a normal consistency you will get and you want to make sure that you mix until all particles are gone then i apply a generous portion on my rounded brush and simply paint it on now when i did this at the first instance i started from the top and painted downwards and i realized that it was very difficult for me to move the vase around to get the bottom completed. So this go around, I decided to go from the bottom to the top. Now you'll notice that as I am painting, I'm trying to ensure that all my strokes are going in the same direction because as it dries, you're able to see the small strokes on the brush. At the lower portion, I'm not able to do this quite the same because I simply have to try to get some coverage around the base of the vase. Once it's painted, I sit the once the base is painted, I sit it the vase down and then I proceed to paint from the midsection of the vase, still applying a very generous amount of paint to my paintbrush and applying that to the vase as you see I'm doing here. So I'm just gonna continue and go around in circles and fill in as much as I can. All right, now I'm up to the top portion and I'm still doing the same motion, but as I get closer to the top portion, it becomes very difficult to maneuver the vase. I would recommend using a surface where you can actually move around or you can do as I'm doing here and simply put your finger inside 
you will get some paint on it as you are trying to get full coverage around your vase but this paint is easily removable with just soap and water pretty much with just water once it's on your hands because of the oil in your hands the paint will not stick for very long so I finished the first vase here and I am simply gonna let that sit for a moment I recommend letting your vase just dry before you go ahead and apply a second coat and I think that's what I didn't do very well it was late evening and I wanted to ensure that I had this ready for the event tomorrow decided to add these at, la at the last minute in this color so I didn't let my paint completely dry before I applied the next coat and I'm not gonna talk through this portion right here I'm actually gonna speed through quite a bit because I'm just repeating the same thing that I just did And here you have it and this is what the painted vase actually looks like I am so in love with the texture that you can see on this it makes it look a lot like clay I let it sit overnight and it dried completely and this is how I use it at the event you can see that it does have some small cracks that's visible but I think I was able to the achieve the look that I wanted. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.